If you've ever thought about selling your agency, if you've ever thought about, you know, what does that actually look like, today's episode is for you. Happy Monday. I am chatting with a number of different agencies today because I had a company reach out to me not too long ago about looking to acquire the right digital agencies because they're looking to grow their business through acquisition and to gain expertise without having to start from scratch. So they contacted me because obviously I have a huge audience of agency owners. And so I'm chatting with a couple agencies today about this. That got me to think that I should develop a mind map for selling your agency. Like what does an exit look like? What, how do you improve your valuation? Why would you actually do that? And I thought that would be a good episode for The Swank today. So if you've ever thought about selling your agency, if you've ever thought about, you know, what does that actually look like? Today's episode is for you. Let's talk about how do you improve your agency valuation for when someone wants to actually buy your agency. First thing an acquirer is going to look at is your profit. And they're going to look at it for the past three years to make sure that you are profitable. It's not just about being profitable for one year and then the other ones where you were losing, but also what's the story the numbers are actually saying. They're also going to look at the growth for the past three years as well. If you've plateaued or if it's up and down and it's not predictable, that's going to hurt your valuation. So you really wanna make sure you're growing year over year. Reoccurring is always good, but you gotta make sure that your reoccurring is based on contracts. If they can cancel at any time, if it's a short-term contract, anything under a year, the potential buyer is gonna look at it and say, look, they can cancel and we, ne- we cannot predict that revenue coming in. You also wanna make sure you have a solid business and the solid business systems. That's really what makes separates a lot of agencies out there is the systems that they have, the processes, the documentation. Look, the reason why a lot of times they're buying you is because they want a quicker way in order to gain a new service offering. And if it's not documented, if you don't have good systems and it's just all over the place, they're kind of starting from scratch as well. So you wanna make sure you have the right systems in place. You also wanna make sure you don't have a large concentration of revenue in one or two clients. Because if anything happens to those clients, which they usually do, then you're gonna have a dramatic drop off. You wanna make sure that things are spread evenly. So now let's talk about why would someone wanna buy your business, why buy your agency? Well, the biggest thing is, is rapid expansion. They want to acquire a certain talent or offering quicker than they could to build it up from scratch. Other parts is they may want a geographic location. Maybe you're in the UK, maybe you're in Australia and they're in the US, or maybe they're on the West Coast and they wanna be have a presence on the East Coast in order to win the lion's share of more businesses. Could also be, you know, putting two plus two equals 16 for them. You know, kind of like with our agency, we were really good at creative and say Finity and social CRM. And the company that bought us was really good at business intelligence. So when we can put all of that together, that just equaled a lot bigger lion's share for the acquirer. All right, so let's look at what does an exit really mean? And it's really broken out into seven different areas. One is, is you know, getting a, a lump sum of cash, right? That's what everybody thinks about when selling their business or selling their agency is, is a huge cash infusion. But that's not necessarily everything to what does an exit really look like. You know, other exits could be around mergers. Maybe you want to partner up with another agency that's a different type of agency that could be two plus two equals eight. And you want to position yourself to be a bigger agency and to win more of that market share out in the marketplace. Other parts of what an exit looks like is an equity conversion. So an agency buys you or business buys you and you get new equity in the new entity, which is a bigger entity, right? So it's kind of like, why own 100% of zero? when you can own 25% of a $100 million company. Another one that I see most common is to sell to your employees. Maybe you've been doing this agency for a while. Maybe you want to make a change or retire or do something else. And you really haven't found a right suitor 
to buy your agency, so maybe you would sell to your employee. And then another one too I see is, is to sell to your partner, right? You know, I always talk about, you know, partnerships are tough, especially year over year, and partners are gonna grow at different levels, right? They're gonna grow faster or slower. So a lot of times I see agencies selling out to their partner. My second least favorite, what an exit looks like is an earnout. This is a majority of where a lot of agencies or business owners make a mistake. They assume that they'll get the earnout. And I'm gonna tell you, like most people told me after I did it, is the earnouts are kind of almost set up for you to fail and you're not going to get them because you lose control of the company. You lose control of a lot of things that if you were running the day-to-day -day company like you were, you probably could hit those numbers, but the acquirer makes it hard. So what I always tell everybody is, is if you do get offered an earnout, assume you're not going to get that. Assume that you're happy with everything else and treat it as sprinkles on your ice cream if you like sprinkles. And then the last one, which we never want to have happen is for you to close up shop, right? That's an exit because maybe you're just sick and tired of it or you couldn't find the right buyer. Um, maybe you just wanted to do something different. You didn't want to sell to your employees. Or maybe you weren't doing well and you just close up your shop. So those are the seven kind of types of exits that I've seen over the years. All right, so hopefully all of this helped you out. And I want to ask you a question. Would it help you out if you could work directly with me, ask me questions, have private one-on-one -on -one time with me, meet, come to all my live events that I'm actually putting on, have access to ask any question in the Facebook group, and have access to other amazing agency owners? If the answer is yes, I wanna invite you to apply to be a member of the Agency University. Now, we're only looking for a select few agency owners, and if you're watching this video about selling your agency, you're definitely serious. And I think we both know that in order to sell your agency, you have to have the right systems. You have to have the right infrastructure in place. And if you have the right mentor and you're surrounded with other people trying to do the same, don't you think that could benefit you to grow your agency faster and get you to where you want to go? So if the answer is yes, I want you to apply to be an Agency University member. Go to agency.university, request an invite, and we'll send you all the details. Mm -hmm.